So you met this sweet, sweet guy that gives you goosebumps every single time. He makes you feel like you're the only one in the world. You have this mad chemistry. And when you finally gather the ginger, the morale to ask him what you're doing, he says, oh, I just like you as a friend, though. I'm not ready for any relationship. <laughs> Sis, you are in a situation. Hi, ladies. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about something very, very important. A lot of us ladies have been neglecting this thing and that is why we are where we are right now. So we're going to discuss about it today. I want you to keep your minds open, let your minds be relaxed and be ready to unlearn and relearn what you've known in the past so that we'll move forward and have the relationship we want. So ladies, I want to talk to you today about settling for situationships. Settling for situationships says, who does that? If you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Makwa, aka The Poised Doctor. I am your favorite relationship girl. Click the subscription button to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a new video. So, let's dive into this. Okay, so you met this guy, sweet, charming, caring, cute, and all of the qualities you want in a high value man i mean the qualities you want in your dream guy right and you're like oh i saw him on a platter and the relationship begins you guys keep going on and going on the chemistry is mad is everything a lady wants oh my god what else am i looking for and then subsequently your friends are like hey congratulations oh we see you found the guy i mean god has blessed you after waiting for a long while and you're like ah busy why not dating you know this is like what do you mean you're dating you guys are everywhere all lovely dovey and i'm even wishing to be like you what are you talking about and you break the news to your girls that the relationship is not defined this is the first sign that you're in a situation the relationship is not defined. You guys are still friends. And you're like, okay, let me not be too forward. Let me not act desperate. So I won't ask him. You keep going on and on. You give him the sex. You cook for him. Huh? You lend him money. You're there for his family's bahala. He meets all his needs when he's sick. You're there being the wonderful girlfriend. You're attending to his needs. And his family likes you already. But... You've not met any of his friends. That's the second sign, sisters. You've not met his friends. Mm -hmm. It's just you and him most of the time. And sometimes the family comes in. But they just know you as his friend. One of his <laughs> casual friends, right? So, hmm, there is no proper date though. That's the third sign. You've never gone on a proper date. You know, when a guy loves you, he takes you out. Flaunts you to people around. And... Uh, he does special things for you. You've never been on a proper date. That's a soft sign. So sister, you finally summon courage because you're tired, right? You just did Ashwe before Bukola last week. And you know that brother is financially stable and he's okay to settle down. So it's not like he doesn't have money to settle down. You finally gather morale and go to ask him, hey bro, so how far now? What is, it's like, Ah, uh, you see how you were thinking it? I just like you as a friend, though. Hey, I don't want a committed relationship. Oh, <laughs> Gaga says you are in a situation. <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. But hey, you're in a situation. Okay, I'm in a situation. So, how do you deal with this? I mean, the signs are obvious, the chemistry is there. You love this guy so much, you don't even want to leave. But each time you bring up this issue about relationship, about defining the relationship, he goes back to remind you that he's not ready for a committed relationship. And babe, when a man says he's not ready for a committed relationship, why wait around? Why are you still there? Are you, are you, are you trying to convince him that you're good for him? We know you are beautiful, you are talented. You have 
all of those virtues you know god you know how to cook clean i mean you're a boss lady in your company so why are you settling for shit why are you settling for someone that doesn't want you eh i said this this channel is my boss so i'm going to be calling you out and i want you to take actions immediately you deserve so much more you deserve so much more Stop asking him if he wants to date you. Stop asking him if he's ready for a relationship. Stop waiting around for him to be ready. It's time to move on, lady. Move on. There is someone out there that loves you. Yeah, that will love you. That will cherish you. That will that, that cannot wait to make you his wife. That cannot wait to call you his own. There are men out there that what they just want is to call you their own. So why are you sitting in with somebody? That doesn't even give a hoot. <laughs> Another thing I want you to, to remember is that when you're in this situation with this guy, you have the tendency of overlooking red flags. Yeah. So he's not calling you, he's not texting you, he's not paying your attention. You overlook all these things because this is not a committed relationship, right? So when you finally get into a committed relationship, you might have a tendency of ignoring red flags. So you see why you need to let go. This is why you need to let go. He doesn't deserve you. <laughs> why would you be giving someone all the wifely benefits? Wifely benefits. When they are not ready to commit. But wait, oh, they like all the goodies you bring to the table. They like the emotional connection. They like your vibe. They like how you make them feel. They like how you treat them when they're sick. They like how you were there for them all the time. <laughs> they like your presence. Well, you don't want to make you exclusive. Think about it. Why hide? Why hang on to this guy? Here's what you're going to do, my girl. You have to move the attention from broader situationship to you. A little diversion. A particular reason why some people still stay in situationships is because they feel like, who's going to like me now? Who's going to love me? Low self-esteem. Okay, since John is still accepting me, let me just be managing with him until when he finally decides that we're an item. <laughs> and my my girl, you keep on managing with John, and Bob passes you by. In fact, the problem is Bob does not even come to you because Bob thinks you're dating John. Bob doesn't want to be the extra person that will scatter people's relationship. Of. So this guy stands and blocks your way. He blocks you from every other person, every all your prospects. They pass you by because they think you're dating him. In fact, some will even tell your friend, ah, I like your friend, though, but I can't date her. She's dating John now. And it's just the other day you told your friend you guys are not dating. So she can't just go and be running around the whole Lagos or Calabar, Port seeking the guys that are looking for you while John is standing there blocking your way. My lady, it's time to move on. You can't hang on to John forever. And John will just be there chilling and enjoying every beautiful thing you bring to the table. Meanwhile, I'm not ready for a relationship. That's what it is. I'm not ready for a relationship. Please, stop falling for this thing. I know he gives you attention sometimes yeah he's not going to give you the attention like someone that is deeply committed to you someone that is deeply connected to you someone that's that said oh let's become exclusive i really like you someone will never be like this to you and let me tell you nothing will nothing tomorrow will make him change his mind so instead of wasting your time my girl move on focus your attention like i was saying to you okay let john go let John go, let John go, let John go, let John go, let John go. Focus on yourself, focus on becoming a quality woman, and get ready to attract a man that will love you, a man that will practically adore you. I mean it. When you're hanging on to John, hoping that John will somehow change his mind and date you or even marry you, you're blocking. John is blocking you from the quality men that will date you. So, sis, focus on you. Become the high value woman you've always dreamt to be. Let John be. Walk up pass from John. If he misses you, he might come back home. That's how they do. 
That's how they do. When you, when you end it, let me even tell you, when you end it, this guy will come back. He will roll on the floor. He will tell you, you're the best thing that's happened to him that he can't do without you. And all, and that your, the part of your soft heart that really likes him, you go back and say, oh, as I know, see another one, make I just take this one they manage. Like, don't fall my hand, sis. Don't fall my hand, okay? When you move on, mean it and move on. Become visible. Go to places that quality men hang out. Create new connections. Vibe with new people. You meet someone better than John. Someone that will flick you their own. Okay, in the next video, I'll be telling you the second relationship mistakes women make. I want you to assess yourself genuinely and know your worth in this. Okay, if you're there, it's not difficult. Just come out now. Waiting, <laughs> waiting, day, day. You really know I love you, ladies, and I am waiting for you. Hmm? Your girl, Malcolm. I'll see you soon. Check out my next video. Bye.